Here's a neat shortcut that takes advantage of the Chat GPT shortcuts app interface. It gets our inquiry, passes it along to the Chat GPT app, then the app saves the answer along with the question to our notes folder. It also copies both to the clipboard. Let's try it out. What's the origin of Apple shortcuts? And there we go. Now let's just tap down here and let's do a paste and see. Yep. There it is, there's the question and there's the answer. Okay, so how did we build this? Let's go ahead and open our shortcuts. And of course we start with a comment, access chat GPT, save to note in your notes folder and paste to clipboard, iOS 17.2.1, January 4th, 2024. Make sure you have first created your notes folder. Make sure chat GPT is on your device. I just used the free version 3.5. Make sure you are logged in to ChatGPT. I just use my Apple ID. Okay, this is built on 17.2.1. And the first thing we do is dismiss Siri and continue. Then we just use ask for text action. And our prompt is ask ChatGPT. We allow multiple lines. We create a note and I just use GPT with a dash and then the question, the provided input that we just asked, and we put it in our notes folder. So make sure you've already created that notes folder. We do not want it to open when run. Then we use the ask chat GPT app shortcut, and we send it our provided question, our provided input in a new chat using GPT 3.5. Now it's important that you select that version or the version that you have. Then we want to start a new chat and then I just have these both turned off. Then we append the answer that it provides to our current note with a dash and the current date and we're all set. Then we make this little text variable and we use the prompt question with the provided input and answer with the chat GPT response and then our delineator there with the current date. We copy that to the clipboard, we show our folder and we open the note, then we stop the shortcut. Oh, well, let's run it one time just for fun. What's the unit of measurement for electrical charge? There we go. The unit of measurement for electrical charge is the Coulomb. And just to make sure, let's go ahead and do a paste to make sure it pasted that to the clipboard. And it did. All right, see you on the next one. Bye.